Isolo 2, also known as the Maquis Formation, is an informal Triassic geological unit in Madagascar. It is described as thick beds of mottled red or green clays associated with soft cross-bedded sandstones, light in color and much finer grain than the Isolo 1 sandstones. Many Metaposaurus mass graves have been found, probably from creatures that grouped together in drying pools during drought. This mostly aquatic animal possessed small weak limbs, sharp teeth, and a large flat head. Eurinkosaurs seem to be at their most numerous across South America and Africa which would have been connected during the Triassic. The teeth of Kanganophon are similar to those of insect-eating modern animals in both shape and texture. This is among the most convincing evidence for an insectivorous diet in early Ave Metatarsalians. Upon first study as Indosaurus was considered to have been a herbivorous dinosaur, possibly either a prosauropod. It is known to have leaf-shaped teeth, an adaptation commonly seen in herbivorous reptiles that eat lush leafy vegetation. Menodon was unique among non-mammalian synapsids for the presence of hypsodont post-canine teeth. Hypsodont teeth grow continuously to counteract high work caused by a diet of abrasive plant material. Most Chinaquodon fossils are anisian to Ladinian in age, with a few associated with Carnian deposits. This has fueled speculation that the disappearance of cynodonts like Chinaquodon coincides with the rise of early dinosaurs, and hence the cynodonts may have been outcompeted by them. The Isolo 3 formation is off the eastern coast of Africa that dates back to the Middle Jurassic. 
The use of the term ISO-03 is somewhat controversial as the two prior units ISO-01 and 2 are Triassic cross-bedded sandstone units that form a continuous depositional sequence, while the ISO-03 sandstones are not part of the same depositional sequence and were deposited considerably later, and are perhaps better treated as part of several separate formations. Razanandrangobe has largely been a mystery for researchers as the genus was only known from partial upper jaw bones. This made details about what kind of animal it was very difficult to establish other than it was from some large kind of archosaur. Bothriospondylus is a dubious genus of neosauropod sauropod dinosaur. The Maverano Formation is a late Cretaceous sedimentary rock formation found in the Mahajanga province of northwestern Madagascar. The Maverano Formation is interpreted as a lower leaf alluvial plain that over time was covered by a marine transgression. Broad shallow rivers flow to the northwest from central highlands. Evidence for debris flows suggests that the discharges of the rivers varied greatly, with periods of dilute water flow and periods of rapid erosion dumping sediment into the channels. Paleosols are reddish and include root casts. The paleosols and other sedimentologic evidence indicate well-drained floodplains with abundant vegetation adapted to a relatively dry climate, strongly seasonal and at times semi-arid. Beelzebufo most likely was a predator whose expansive mouth allowed it to eat relatively large prey, perhaps even juvenile dinosaurs. Bite force measurements from a growth series of Cranwell's horned frog suggest that the bite force of a large Beelzebufo may have been between 500 to 2,200 newtons.
Considering how Sahanakalis possess enlarged hyoids, no teeth, and both surfaces of the upper and lower that face toward each other are poorly developed, suggests that it was specialized for an aquatic, suction-feeding lifestyle. Matsoya was an 8 meters long serpent that lived in the broad rivers and mangroves. At around the time of Aeropesicus' existence, South America and Africa were physically adjacent to each other. The various species evolved from the same stock in the general area, radiating outward from a yet unidentified origin point. The presence of specimens from Madagascar further strengthens this evolutionary radiation model. Simosuchus was probably a herbivore, its complex dentition resembles that of herbivorous iguanids. A fossorial, or burrowing lifestyle, for Simosuchus has recently been proposed, but is not widely agreed upon. Evidence for burrowing includes the robust limbs and short snout, which appears shovel-like. Although Notosukians are known for their terrestrial lifestyle, Mahajangasukids present a deviation from this ecology by having evolved multiple traits indicative of a more semi-aquatic lifestyle. The high-sided skull table with ventrally positioned jaw articulation differs from the dorsoventrally compressed cranio with posteriorly located jaw articulation of modern Yusukians, while the broad and shallow rostrum appears to have been obtained convergently to similar morphology seen in the Neosukians. This stegosaur is highly dubious because only teeth was found, similar to Jurassic stegosaurs, but Maverano formation is in the late Cretaceous. It may be the teeth of an unknown ankylosaur. Vahinii is distinguished from other titanosaurs by characteristics of its brain case, including the basal tubera, basipterygoid processes, parasphenoid, and cranial nerve foramina. Differences in the brain cases of Vahinii and Rapidosaurus indicate that they are not closely related to one another. During the Maastrichtian, like it is now, Madagascar was an island, having separated from the Indian subcontinent less than 20 million years earlier. It was drifting northwards, but still 15 degrees more southerly in latitude than it is today. The prevailing climate of the time was semi-arid, with pronounced seasonality in temperature and rainfall. Many prehistoric animals inhabited a coastal floodplain cut by many sandy river channels. Abelosaurids, especially Majungasaurus, may instead have been adapted for a feeding strategy more similar to modern felids, with short and broad snouts that bite once and hold on until the prey is subdued. Majungasaurus was the largest predator in its environment, while the only known large herbivores at the time were sauropods like Rapidosaurus. Scientists have suggested that Majungasaurus, and perhaps other Abelosaurids, specialized on hunting sauropods. Although sauropods may have been the prey of choice, discoveries published in 2007 detail finds in Madagascar that indicate the presence of other Majungasaurus in their diet.
The procumant front teeth of Maceacosaurus were likely an adaptation for grasping small prey. They would have been unsuitable for tearing larger food apart. Several feeding behaviors have been proposed for Maceacosaurus on the basis of its unusual dentition. Because the front teeth would have been well suited for grasping, Maceacosaurus may have consumed small vertebrates and invertebrates. Although numerous artists' reconstructions of Rahanavis show it in flight, it is not clear that it could fly. There has even been some doubt that the forearm material, which includes the quill knobs, belongs with the rest of the skeleton. Falcatakli is a crow-sized stem bird that can be distinguished from all other Enanchinithians by its deep, long rostrum approximate 9 cm in length, which is slightly reminiscent of that of a toucan. Vendana is extremely relevant to the understanding of Gondwanatheres because it is the first well-preserved skull, as opposed to previous fragments and teeth. While typical mammals found from that era were around the size of a mouse, the skeleton found, thought to merely be a juvenile, was 60 centimeters long. It is depicted in reconstructions as being built somewhat like a badger. Its skeleton is the most complete of any southern hemisphere Mesozoic mammal, 